Yeah, guys, so let's just have a quick chat. This is going to be like a five, ten minutes chat. I actually was not thinking of putting up a video anymore to like give birth because I'm very tired right now. I've gotten to that point where I just tell my husband, my body is tired. I don't think I want to do this anymore at all. If not that, I just want to wait till my baby is ready. I would be like, let's plan an induction and just get this baby out. I'll be 38 weeks in, um, two days. I'll be 38 weeks in two days. So I'll just say, please, by 38 weeks or some days, let's just plan an induction and get this baby out. But truth is, the baby can come anytime. And right now, my heart is full. With joy, I'm grateful to God. My nursery is ready. My baby's hospital bag is packed. Um, and, um, my hospital bag is almost done. I think I should try and do a video of what's my hospital bag, you know, before, um, the end of, um, this week. Because I'm really hoping that this baby will come next week. I'm really hoping it will come next week. But on another hand, I'm hoping because our, our wedding anniversary is in two weeks. I'm hoping that will come in two weeks. So probably come on the day of our wedding anniversary. But I don't know. God's will be done. God's will be done. So yeah, guys, I'll quickly run through some third trimester sim symptoms, things that I've been going through, you know, and all. And I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm very tired right now, so it's going to be very fast, you know. Okay, so the first thing I'll talk about is you get very emotional at this stage. I think the last time I've been this emotional was in my first trimester. I was very emotional in my first trimester. And I think the same thing is happening in my third trimester. But I must say, you know, people say third and first and third are the hardest. I still think that nothing beats first trimester. First trimester is hard. First trimester is wicked. Very wicked. <laughs> You know, for me, nothing beats good health. As long as I'm in good health, you know, the other symptoms are things that you can deal with. You know, the pain, the constipation, whatever. As long as you're in good health, is you know, there are things I can do. But first trimester is majorly sickness, like sickness. Like, you are, you are sick, you are sick, sick. Anybody that says that pregnancy is not sickness, does not know what they are saying. So, I'm, I, I'm very grateful to God. And I think I didn't really start feeling all the time. This was like my second trimester last day for so long. So, this trust time I start just coming around with all these symptoms you know it's very shocking to me like i felt like i'm going to feel the whole bubbly to the end of the pregnancy but man it's not happening anymore last time i've been to work is on monday my work has no work from home policy so um but my boss has been so kind he has been so kind to me and you know on monday i, I was just crying i could not help the tears it was embarrassing <laughs> but i was just uh, shedding tears shedding tears my eyes were swollen and red I said a picture to my husband like I don't know what is wrong with me I've just been crying and you know I've, I get so emotional about everything I watch better vlogs I cry I watch movies I cry I think about this I cry I do I'm just emotional another thing is the heat the heat is crazy you know, I think I would still say that I'm one of the privileged in Nigeria because I, I, I saw people chatting on Twitter and saying, hey, there's it, there's it. And I, and I could not really relate because I go to work and there is AC. And, you know, from there, I just jump into my husband's car, there's AC. And I get back home because we live in a savage apartment and there's AC from monitor. So I'm literally inside AC every time, every time. Until I travel to Ife for my thesis defense. And I found out that, that men are talking about is true the eat was crazy i couldn't sleep all through the night and now it has gotten worse but the fact that i'm always inside ac guys see that's the ac up there and as you can see i have another fan here so i sleep with ac and fan my husband has been having cold here and there he has been having to wear clothes to bed <laughs> cover up himself to the head while i'm sleeping <laughs> snipping naked <laughs> We didn't see how far, so the heat is going to be worse. It will be like there's a oven inside you, like there's an oven right inside your tummy. Like that's how it feels. The heat is crazy. So, you know, you start feeling that. And I should say, this is something I never thought that I was going to experience. Um, to look what solutions talked about it. You know, then I told trimester that she was, she had this leg cramps thing. Um, 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 I've forgotten the name of the nerve of, or something that the baby is resting on it. So for me, when I sleep and I wake up, I barely could walk. There was a day I literally crawled to the toilet. Light is disturbing my video. But I'm just so tired to go to where I film. <laughs> 
guys i hope you just um enjoyed this you know i was I, I literally almost crawled to the toilet it was that bad i crawled to the toilet i said almost i crawled to the toilet and i was in tears you know your legs becomes very become very heavy and i'm even not one of those people that you know really gets bigger and fat during their pregnancy so i can imagine how it is for people like that you know that really get a lot of weight like it has been crazy very crazy there are days i cry because of the pain in my pelvic area because it's so sharp and painful you know so that is there too so i told you that i'm going to be 36 weeks next week and next on friday two days so from now and i saw that part of my sister's symptoms will be more urination more frequent urination i'm like please just tell me to sleep in the toilet because i am peeing every now and then and now they are telling me that i'm going to have more of that like peeing is is crazy you barely get enough sleep and that pain comes with insomnia because sometimes i close my eyes to go to the toilet and go and pee but as soon as i go and i come back that sleep is gone like it is all gone so you know i i don't i don't understand this more frequent relation that's going to happen next week because that means that i was going to sleep to pee every 30 or 20 minutes which is crazy and you have to drink much water because you want to um you know you want your baby to be well hydrated and also you i'm preparing you know to breastfeed my baby so you know they said i should take much water and make sure that i'm always hydrated and oh so and you still have to pee more so it's, it's really crazy it's really crazy for me and now i i don't really eat much like i did during my second trimester anymore because i'm very heavy so whatever i eat like makes me more heavy so i barely eat as much as i do before but that does not mean that i don't eat like that does not mean that my mouth has been staying in one place it only means that i have not been taking as much quality quantity as i used to in the past so um you know that one is also there and another thing is you're always tired you wake up in the morning and you feel like sleeping back again like i wake up in the morning my husband looks at me, looks at me and say baby you're tired and i'll say yes but like, you need to sleep throughout the night i'll say i slept though i slept today and but still i'm tired you <laughs> get you're always just tired there's that just bounce of tiredness everywhere everywhere and there are days i think they call it nesting instincts or something there are days when i feel like i can i can conquer the world like i'm here doing this doing that i literally did the wallpaper of my nursery with my sister but myself like i cleaned everywhere fixed the bassinet by myself put it together put the gym mats together everything i did it by myself like is that crazy that is how i get strengthened some days some days i can review reports from my you know my office work and do this and do that and there are days like that that i'm just tired like it's really crazy it's very crazy <laughs> so guys what what else what else oh body itching body itching another symptoms is body itching you know i don't bath with sponge and all of that but i got pregnant because i i used to itch my body whenever i'm done birthing before but i got pregnant you know i i have been having this bout of body, body itch whenever i'm done bathing sometimes i itch my body like i itch it for a long time before it calms down and it's crazy but i think it's getting much better now but i still itch my body every time after i have my bait you know some people is just tummy that itches them but for me it's just everywhere i itch everywhere so much for like five ten minutes before it calms down so that the um i don't know i'm scared of taking more water but my lips get dry almost every every time even with all the water i'm taking but taking much water more water means that i'm going to be peeing more frequently and it's crazy especially when i'm at work standing from my table to go to go and pee every time every time it's crazy yeah so i said this won't take long i'm actually really tired already and i'm out of breath so like that's literally you know things that go on into a trimester but i think that it is still better than first trimester um so if there's anybody watching this and you're in your first trimester don't be scared don't be scared at all first trimester by god's grace you know everything going on well is going to be the worst ever trimester after that you're going to be fine your second trimester you're literally going to be glowing you know third trimester comes with different symptoms because the baby is now more heavy you know you have the placenta you have the amniotic fluid you are carrying everything up and down you get but you are not going to be sick you are not going to be sick as a matter of fact my bitter mouth is now gone and i'm grateful to god for that i had that for close to seven eight months it's now gone so i'm i'm really grateful to god for that so you're not going to be sick you're going to be fine it's just that the weight of the baby will be telling on a lot of other symptoms and i think that you know 
there's nothing like good health as long as you are in good health then you are good to go so i'm expecting my baby i'm thinking I, I might just be able to record just one more vlog you know before i go into labor by god's grace and that would be what's in my hospital bag and i'm going to make sure i do that by this week because i want to clear this camera i only have one memory card i want to clear the, the all the videos on this camera and get it ready for my bad vlog um so i hope that you guys enjoyed this um vlog obi is already calling me to come and hit so i hope you enjoyed it and um till meet next week know that i love you so much but jesus loves you more and if you're a first mom like me or you're in your first trimester you would be fine because i watched a lot of videos like this during my first trimester and they reassured me that i'll be fine and i ended up you know being fine so you'll be fine and everything would come you know in one place in the end so take care of yourself eat well use your vitamins don't be like me my sister has to come in to start giving me that vitamins like she was after my soul she already became my monitoring spirit so use your vitamins and take care to meet next week peace